In today's lesson, we'll be learning how to solve one-step equations. A number added to 3 is equal to 5. In other words, x plus 3 equals 5. What could this number be? Using mental math, you might have figured out this number to be 2, since 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. However, these are friendly numbers. What happens if they are unfriendly, like big numbers or negative numbers? This method involves opposite operations and identifying like terms. This will be useful when you're dealing with unfriendly numbers. Take a look at the equation x plus 3 equals 5. You'll notice that these two terms are alike, since they're both numbers. That makes them like terms. Now, like terms like to be together. You can either bring the positive 3 together with the 5, or bring the 5 together with the positive 3. I'm going to bring the positive 3 over to be with the 5. Generally speaking, you want all your variables together on one side and all your numbers together on the other side of the equation. When you move a term over the equal sign, it actually becomes the opposite. So that positive 3 is no longer positive, it now becomes negative 3. This next step should be pretty straightforward. Looking at your number line, you start with the number positive 5 and you're going to subtract 3 from it. 1, 2, 3, which means you're moving 3 spaces to the left and you end up at the number positive 2. Therefore, x is equal to positive 2. In our next example, a number subtracted by 16 is equal to 14. In other words, x subtracts 16 equals 14. What could this number be? Now, using mental math might be a little difficult since these are unfriendly numbers. These are pretty big numbers. Therefore, I would recommend using this technique we just learned earlier. Look at the equation x subtract 16 equals 14. These two terms would be like terms since they are both numbers. Like terms like to be together, which means you can bring the 14 over together with the negative 16, or you can bring the negative 16 over together with the 14. I'm going to bring the negative 16 over to be with the 14. Now, when you bring a term over the equal sign, it actually becomes the opposite. So it no longer is negative 16, it is now positive 16. We won't be able to do this on a number line, but you can definitely use a calculator. 14 plus 16 is equal to 30. In our next example, a number subtracted by 2 is equal to negative 7. In other words, x subtract 2 equals negative 7. What could this number be? Using mental math to find the value of x is going to be a little bit difficult since these are unfriendly numbers. These are negative numbers. Therefore, I would highly recommend you use this technique we are learning today. Look at the equation x subtract 2 equals negative 7. You'll notice that these two terms are like terms since they're both just numbers. Like terms like to be together, which means you can bring the negative 2 over with the negative 7, or you can bring the negative 7 over with the negative 2. I'm going to bring the negative 2 over with the negative 7. Now, when you move a term over the equal sign, it actually becomes the opposite. So that term is no longer negative 2, it now becomes positive 2. At this point, I would recommend you use a number line or a calculator. We're going to start off at negative 7. And then we're going to move two spaces to the right. And we're going to end up at negative 5. Therefore, x is equal to negative 5. In our last example, a number added to 2 is equal to negative 8. In other words, x plus 2 equals negative 8. What could this number be? Now, using mental math to find the value of x would be quite difficult since these are unfriendly numbers. There are some negative numbers here. Therefore, I would highly recommend using the technique we are learning today. Look at the equation x plus 2 equals negative 8. You'll notice that these two terms are like terms since they're both just numbers. Now, like terms like to be together, which means you can bring the positive 2 over to the negative 8, or you can bring the negative 8 over with the positive 2. I'm going to bring the positive 2 over with the negative 8. Now, when you move a term over the equal sign, it actually becomes the opposite. So that is no longer positive 2, it is now negative 2. 
At this point, I would recommend you using a number line or a calculator. You're going to start off at negative 8. Now, when you subtract 2, you are moving to the left. You're moving two spaces to the left, which means you're going to end up at negative 10. Therefore, x is equal to negative 10.